South Coast residents continue pushing back against proposed septic system changes that could cost tens of thousands of dollars per household. And new tonight, we're hearing from Mass Department of Environmental Protection about where the proposal stands. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish has been tracking this story for months now. Kayla, what's the DEP telling you tonight? Well, a spokesperson for Mass DEP tells me the governor's administration is prioritizing public involvement as it continues reviewing these proposed regulations. Public input from meetings like this one in Dartmouth. It's bad government. South Coast residents fired up over proposed septic system regulation changes from the Mass DEP that would affect thousands of homes in places like New Bedford, Fall River, and Dartmouth. DEP tells us it's an effort to cut back on nitrogen pollution in area waterways to protect natural resources and residents. I'm all for helping out if nitrogen is a problem, um, but to just push something by this quickly for just a very limited group of people in the state of Massachusetts, Dartmouth, the Cape, it, it doesn't seem right. Under the proposal, homes in certain areas would need to upgrade their septic systems to, quote, best available technology, which residents say could cost anywhere from $17,000 to almost $75,000. My wife is already concerned about the cost. She mentions it all the time. George Marcotte was one of more than 100 people at Thursday's info session in Dartmouth. We recently moved here from Connecticut and we have a brand new house with a brand new septic system, which is only, you know, eight years old. And, and they're saying that now the septic, septic system potentially is not the right fix. Others concerned with how the changes would be implemented over the five year span that DEP is proposing. I'm an engineer by training, a systems engineer, and this is a half-baked engineering scheme. There's not enough people to do the work. You have regulations that are supposed to be enforced by the cities that have no numbers on them. It's best available. What does that mean? How does anybody plan for that? Members of the town select board in Dartmouth say they're prepared to take legal action if necessary. We need to, we want to do the right thing, but we want to do it the way it benefits everybody and it's reasonable and not onerous. A Mass DEP spokesperson tells me they're continuing to review the public input and that it will help shape the final regulations. I'm told they'll notify the public when the review process is complete. In Dartmouth, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.